Stop. No way. Oh yeah. And I don't know if I should tell you this guys, but if you have an app that your parents don't let you have, then you can hide it like this. Okay. <laughs> you did not hear it from me though. <laughs> okay, I'm literally fangirling over Apple. Hey guys, it's Katie, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be customizing my iPhone 11. Now the reason that I want to customize it is because the new update, iOS 14, came out like two days ago and I just got it. And it's so different to any other update that I've had that I think it deserves its own video, you know? And this also can be a little tutorial, which is cool. The first thing that I'm going to do is hide the apps that I don't usually use and that is something that I really love about the update because there are some apps that I don't usually use but occasionally I do but there's no way to hide them. Now we do have a way so that's really incredible. I'm going to choose the apps that I'm going to hide right now and all you have to do is press on the app that you want to hide then edit home screen and just drag it and create a new home screen. Okay, I don't know if I should tell you this guys, but if you have an app that your parents don't let you have, then you can hide it like this, okay? <laughs> you did not hear it from me though. This part is really tedious. It's making me mad. <laughs> I don't use Spotify because I don't have a subscription. Wait, am I only going to have like one home screen? Wait, this has never happened before. I have like way too many apps for literally no reason. Okay, this is so cool. Okay, shut up. <laughs> now to hide them, all you have to do is press the screen then go to the dots that are underneath and then you press the check on the ones you want to hide and that's it like that's literally it Oh, that is so cool. Another iOS 14 update is that once you reach the end of your home screen, you will see this library where you can search for the apps that you want. And they're also categorized, which I really am digging, not gonna lie. For example, this folder looks so professional. I don't know. I've never, I, I feel very put together. Okay. If you want to change the colors on your apps, you will need a lot of time and the apps shortcut. I don't have it because I think I deleted it, but I can always re-download it. There are two ways that I found that you can customize your apps. You can use solid colors or you can use photos. If you want to use photos, you can either take them yourself or go on Pinterest and search up your aesthetic basically. But I will use solid colors because I think they go so well together and also I have a collage. So it it will look very cluttered. The way I got the colors that match my aesthetic is really simple. All I had to do was choose photos that had colors that I really liked. Then I went onto a website that can color pick colors from an image. And then I just went onto Procreate. But you can also use Fonto if you're using a hex color picker from an image. It's kind of difficult to explain. I think I'm going to do an IGTV on how I did this. Let me know if you guys want to see that. After you have chosen the photos that you want according to the apps that are on your home screen all you have to do is go into shortcuts then on the right hand on the top you press on the plus sign then you add action and you will look for open app and then to the side of open you touch and choose and you select the apps that you want to open then you touch on the three dots that you can see on the right hand and once again you put the name of the app that you want then you touch this part that says add to home screen and you write the name of the app again <laughs> once you have done that all you have to do is press on this little icon and then choose photos and then you choose the color that you want for that app choose and then you just add it and click done and here you can see I have my new photos and when you touch on that icon, it will take you first to the shortcuts app and then to the original. Now I will do that to all of my other apps, but you don't have to see this because it's gonna get really extremely boring. So I'ma catch you when I have to add widgets and stuff. Alright guys, I just finished that and I don't know how I feel about it. Let me show you. Like, it's cool, but at the same time, it's not efficient. I don't know, I feel like it's too much color. I'll probably change it and leave it as it was before. I don't know, but something I do like is the change of background. I changed only my home screen, don't worry. My lock screen is still the same. 
Now I'm going to create and customize my widgets. I think I am going to look for photos on Pinterest because I have like an idea of what I want. I'm going to check on my Pinterest board because I know that I have very cute pictures that I love. I just got the picture and I will add more later. It's just, I don't know how I will feel about it. So I just want to test. I am going to add this to an album, but something you have to know is that each photo has to have its own individual album. So so it's easier for you to search it. Alrighty. Now go on to widget smith, add a new small widget, then you click on the widget, default widget, and on the section that says style, you scroll a little bit down and you choose photos in album. Then I think all I have to do is select the album that I want. I will choose my two for this one, save it, add widget, and I will do that with each photo. I want to try a medium widget. Um, I haven't chosen all the photos that I have get cut, so I guess I will choose more photos. Oh my gosh, this one is so perfect. Yes, I am obsessed with this photo. <laughs> mm, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I think I'm gonna crop it. No, it just doesn't look good. This one with a watch? Yes! Ew, why am I talking like that? I never talk like that. I think... <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes. It was beautiful! Now I'm going to add my widgets by pressing down the screen, then going to the left and touching the plus sign, then going all the way down to widget smith and I will add my small widget and then edit widget and select the ones I want. This is honestly so fun. I'm obsessed with this. Stop it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Now I'm gonna add my bigger widget. Oh, stop. No way. Oh yeah. It looks like Okay, I'm so excited. Wait a minute. Y'all, this is so good. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Now I am going to use color widgets. Oh my gosh, this one is calling my name. Add photo. Oh my gosh, yes. This one's so customizable. I love this. Uh, I think I want to choose like a more simple photo. This one. This one's literally perfect. <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. Wait, and this one? I want to see. I want to try like multiple versions. Okay. I love this one. You guys, you cannot tell me this is not the cutest thing you have ever seen. Now I'm going to add that widget because it's beautiful. Color widgets. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't hate me, but I changed my home screen wallpaper once again because I feel like it matches better with this widget. Now I am going to look for more widgets that I can add. Walls calendar. Oh my gosh. I added a normal calendar widget because I have my schedule there and that is something really important. Guys, it looks so good. Look at this. And then this. Um, I want to see if there are more useful things. Oh, okay. I feel like a princess. I love this. Okay. The only thing that I don't like is that here it says color widgets and down here it says widget smith. So if any of you guys know how to take that away, let me know and I will pin that comment because it looks ugly, not gonna lie. We'll see if that sticks. I will let you guys know on my Instagram again. Uh, yes, I'm just shamelessly playing in my Instagram, not gonna lie. I really like it, like I can see the hype. For example, this is my favorite part. It just looks so put together and I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. I remember another thing that I want to do and it involves settings and that is the double tap and triple tap setting and you go to general for double tapping I want to text my mom and for triple tapping I am going to screenshot let me see if that screenshot works it does that is so cool <laughs> okay I'm literally fangirling over apple how like I cannot even no. I think that's it for today's video guys. This is so cool. Also, let me know if you have updated to iOS 14 and tag me on your Instagram if you use the tips that I'm giving you. Well, it's kind of like tips, but at the same time I was experimenting. So I don't know how you call that, but it's okay, you know, it is totally fine. I don't know. Honestly, I am really obsessed with this. It's gonna stick. Yeah, I know it's gonna stick. I will let you guys know. The only thing that I am not really convinced are the apps, which is the thing that took me the longest. 
but it is okay it is okay you know because I will and I did get confused for example when I was looking for settings I spent like 20 seconds and when you're in a rush that cannot happen so I'll probably change that but I will let you guys know on my Instagram so go follow it okay I am totally not shamelessly plugging my Instagram like at all uh, <laughs> also go check out my also go check out the video that I posted like two weeks ago where I gave you guys some tips on how to make your iPad for your aesthetic. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. Okay, love you. Bye! You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. I hmm?